So over here, you can see that I have a text box with some wrong spellings right here. So over here, you can see that the spelling of drawings is wrong. So if I want to correct this, what I can do is I can right click and over here, you can see drawings is an option right here. So if I were to click on this, then you can see that it replaces it with the correct um, uh, a, a correct spelling right here. What you can also do is you can use tool right here. You can go around into tool, go to spelling right here. And here you have an option to underline the errors right here. So you can see that there's no more underline right there. But if I were to click on underline errors, then it underlines the error right there. I can also go around and click on spell check. And now what happens is that it checks the spelling one by one right here and suggests you what you want to replace this with. So right now, diagramming, you can see the spelling error right here. You can change this out right here and it changes that spelling. But over here, if you don't want to change it, you can click on ignore over here as well. And it won't show it out, uh, out as a spelling error. Similarly, let's say, for example, if I were to go around and then uh, ma make a spelling error right here, and you are sure that this is not a spelling error. Maybe it is a name or um, an organization name, name that you want to be there in the dictionary, but, uh, but you don't want it to show uh, it as an error. Then what you can do is you can right click and over here you can click on add uh, this uh, the, 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 this name to um, the, this word to dictionary right here. So once you do that, it does not show it as a spelling error, as you can see right here. So now what you can also do is you can go around into tools, into spelling and go to personal dictionary where you can see your words that you don't want it to be shown as an error. You can also go around and remove these out or add new words of your choice as well. So it does not show up as an error. So you can erase this out as well, press OK, and it shows as an error again. So you can right click and then you can go around and adjust it according to how you like it. So that is how you can work around with spell check inside of Google Drawings. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.